All right, everybody, we've got TYM October, the first replay that we'll be covering. So we've got Rasposa versus Skyro, Lytra versus Sedge. Yeah, and this is Sandy. Yeah. Very old school map. Came along in like just after Double Trouble, I believe, was when we started playing on this. Um, had a rather infamous first iteration that was very disliked and then was uh, quickly changed after that and became, I think, actually like a fairly like popular map after that point. I love interesting games. And we have it here in Wargroove too. Yeah, and, and then we see a difference in the opening. Skyro is going for the, what I like calling the Sioux opening. Like moving Sio through center to the other side. And Rasposa is going for, you know, what I like to call the math opening. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, which is, uh, you know, staying on that side with Sio, it is a bit weird. He, I don't think he did it correctly. Yeah. You're supposed to heal on the village that got stolen. But, you know, if the village gets stolen, you can't heal there. You need a knight at the earliest timing. So if that village gets stolen from, you know, knight kills the sword that stole from it. And then it's good for you. But since he went knights on the other side first, Asposo wasn't able to do that. So he starts with an opening disadvantage. Pretty big one. Okay, we see the first golem coming out. Both players have a lot of money at this point, so... Would not surprise me if we see a, a golem coming out from Asposo as well. And I know golems were strong before. You know, mountain golem obviously was a bit of a thing back in the day but how do golems hold up on like this version of CND? I mean I don't think it'll be that different uh, it'll still be strong yeah they, they don't have to walk through any heavy terrain they will be slightly limited they won't be able to get like the super defensive positions by going on mountains but like, their movement won't be obstructed necessarily, so I think they will be pretty strong, yeah. yeah. Harpies might also be a thing. Harpies have been decent on CND in World of One because tower is pretty advanced. Yeah, lots of mountain for them to play with as well, like we see that harpy crit. Yeah. And now, the thing is... They get nerfed by all the air hate with the flagstone, but now they have that one additional move that I think is important. Can we see Rasposo making another harpy? Yeah. Yeah. And Skyro is just like, okay, oh, wire actually. Scratch that, he's just gonna go in. Lethal? No, no. I just go for damage. Oh, it just it takes out the mates. That's the only mates there. I don't know about hitting sets there, though. Guess the mage shield's gonna come down? No, why would it? Oh. I guess not. I figured, like, healing both swords, but... <clears throat> nah, that's too little value. I think the sword should just not have attacked. Well, I guess... There's no counter-attack on it, though, so... Oh, well, I guess he's gonna... Ooh, but that's a dead full health sword in response. Yeah. No, you don't need to counter-attack it, though. It, de it dealt so little to sets, that's the thing, right? Yeah, it... Oh, but it did force him back to heal. Well, not like sets could attack there, right? True, but I mean, like, the gold difference is probably gonna be... More than anything, like, an, an annoyance. Okay, and now we just see Skyro just constantly putting pressure on. This is like a pretty good attack. Trucks the air trooper up on that mountain. Actually, yeah, both mountains are covered by air troopers there. I guess he's just using them to block terrain more than anything. 
Yeah, and Trooper not horrible when it gets to sit on mountains. Yeah, Trooper might be good on this map. It also might have like early ideas. Oh. Yeah, one harpy dies. And it looks like Archer is gonna get hit. Yeah, Respose is getting like some big counter attacks this turn. Yeah, that south side is really not looking good for Skyro. But that being said, this north side is not looking great for Rasposa right now. Has to retreat with the commander. Barracks is under quite a bit of pressure. Lytra is going to have tier 2. I think Ooh, she's just yeah. out of range to actually grab stuff though. Like She could have potentially have yoinked stuff away from the barracks and then just taken it. Mm, it, it still could be scary for Sads. Okay, not gonna pop tier to this turn, I guess. Oh? Oh, no. Oh, it can get killed on that mountain, yeah. Just gonna kill the golem with tier 2, that's fine. Yeah? Although I wonder if you just keep tier 2 there, that golem is kinda trapped anyway, right? And then next turn tier 2 can be used to flip their axe. On the flip side, now that you have used tier 2 immediately, you probably flip the racks without needing it next turn. So, you know, both answers are around as good. Buzz is pulling back a bit on the south side, oh, yeah. realizes the cat. Looks like his knight got crit by. Yeah, his knight got crit by Skyro's knight. That's a dangerous place to put commander. Feels very confident. Doesn't hit the barracks, interestingly. Ooh, that's a big hex. Mm, yeah. But, yeah, because it's full HP, the racks won't be easily taken out. Yeah, like, you really, like... At this kind of point, you just hope that you have a knight or something in position to... Yeah, but no knight there, so... At this point, you're hoping for two sides on it, which would be very easy to get with Groove, but you don't have Groove anymore. Well, that's a dead witch if Skyro wants it to be Archer can get the hit first before Witch goes in. Yeah. That's probably what he should do, right? Yeah, and Skyro, really nice repositioning of his army. Oh, he's going for Sedge instead. Crit oh, damage. is there a lethal here? No, he's on a mountain. There's no way it's a lethal, right? Yeah, especially, you would hex first if there was. Although, maybe there's a light for tier 1? Oh, it's pretty fast. Maybe she's getting it. Maybe. 76%? Oh, no, no, no. no. It's... This one's damage. And... I don't know why Skyro didn't hex first there. I guess the point was maybe to... Uh, wait until the end of the turn to calculate what he needs to build. I mean, he could have done that uh, at the start. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes you want to do your builds first. In async, you could technically just calculate the whole turn first, but... You know, most people are used to playing sync. You just make the moves, you see the end state, and then you calculate builds, and then you're like, okay, I have the money for a hex now. Ooh. Now we're seeing the tier 1 getting some good value. Yeah, it's pretty decent. But does it save the racks? I don't think so. Oh! Said didn't have enough money for a good heal. Only at six, that could be dangerous. Is there enough to get things in range? I guess Balloon's gonna go down. And yeah, Witch is gonna follow. This is gonna be a huge follow up on this actually. Oh yeah, that's lot. pretty massive damage. I'm wondering if Seds could have died. It doesn't matter anymore, but you know. I think the terrain Potential is just a bit puzzle. too heavy. Yeah, because there was a knight crit, but you had to clear his knight to do it. So was that possible? Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna see a couple more sadistic rushes coming in here. Gonna pick up that air trooper as well. 
I'm actually gonna limit where Sedge can heal though. Basically only this village there. I mean that village is a pretty good place to heal probably. Yeah. Yeah, hard to cover this backside. You don't have forest too. And lighter used groove. So she's not gonna get another tier one this turn, right? Um I actually don't know, 43%. Just depends on what the follow-up is. Knight's gonna go down as well. Right, she's not gonna groove, but you'll have it next turn. Yeah, and too much army is dying. Like said, it's pretty efficient with all those grooves, but it's not enough. Yeah, and I'm gonna double hex just to kill the archer and do some other damage. Wow, spent so much money on those hexes, but he is up econ, so he can afford to do that. Yeah, I mean, like he just want to press advantage at this point. And this Rex is done now. <laughs> this poor mage at the top left has just been sitting there all alone. But yeah, And the supposed resigns. Recognize that the Rex is lost, so there is no way to play on. Yeah, actually, yeah, I can't build out of it anymore just because everything's trapped. Yeah, and it will be flipped in a few turns. Like, there, there is too much there from Skyro. Yeah. I guess, like, if he had Sedge tier 2 at this point, like, maybe you can keep playing it out, but... No, there's, yeah. like, double golem, and... Like, you don't oh, even it. then. Yeah, you, if he needed to have said steer to, like, a couple of turns earlier, and then he would have won the fight. Probably. Yeah, but I like Skyro's game plan of just, like, put a lot of pressure directly onto Sedge, make sure he can't just farm Groove. Take advantage of the fact that Lytra is really strong in this kind of heavy terrain. Like, yeah, Lytra has great ideas on this map. It might be like one of her better maps, maybe her best map. <laughs> yeah. Out of like uh, at least uh, War Group One style competitive maps, like the standard maps, yeah. because she would really like to push against either Rax or HQ, and you know, she does one or the other depending on your opening. Um. And then in both cases there is like heavy terrain and you're playing near the edge of the map. It's like very easy to kill stuff with her. Well, well played. Scar is going to take it. The first commentated replay of this TYM. I think I was the first person to submit a replay, but you know, I played it like super early and like did a live game with someone, but this feels oh, it like it was on the FTA map too, right? It was on the FTA map, um, yeah. which got fixed. So. But anyway, well played. This guy, we're gonna take it.